professional record, 46 fights. 45 victories, including 32 knockouts, with only one defeat. From Manchester, England, the three-time world champion and reigning defending IBO Ring Magazine light welterweight champion of the world, Ricky Hitman Hitter. Well, let's go. And fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Freddie Roach, wearing white with blue, officially weighing 138 pounds. Professional record, 53 fights, 48 victories, including 36 knockouts, three defeats and two draws. From Sarangani Province, Philippines, the five-time world champion, currently recognized as pound for pound, the best fighter in the world, Manny Pac-Man. Okay, gentlemen, trunks are okay here. Trunks are okay here. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you to keep the fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch up. All right. They are warrior kings with armies of fans who follow them to the battle. Now, they will be alone in the battle. After a long publicity tour and a lot of exposure to each other, they are genuinely friendly. They like each other. It should not show up in the fight. No. Question one, is round one a boxing match? Or does Hatton want to fight right away? No, what Ricky is doing is what, what the, you know, the keys of victory, which we didn't have a chance to show to the audience, was for him to create anxiety and pressure on Ma Manny, unlike anybody else has ever did before. But you have to watch Manny, because Manny is still the better puncher between the two, so he still must be a little careful. So Hatton wants to apply pressure, but with care, yes, with against care. Pacquiao's faster yes. hands. Yes. And I think he's doing just that. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Trying to hit Hatton as he comes in. Key element of the game plan for Pacquiao. Allow Hatton to come forward, catch him on the way in. A key element of the game plan for Hatton, get Pacquiao against the ropes, just like that. Pacquiao has been more successful with the right than the left. That, that, that punch missed. There's the right again landing. Quick right hooks are landing for Pacquiao. The left hand is overshooting the target. This fight is living up to the anxiety that the fans expected and in intensity. It's going to be an important factor to see how Kitty Bayless handles this fight because it could be exciting and it could end up being a very wrestling type match also. Great right hand for Hatton blazed across the face of Pacquiao. Hatton's Pac face is already red. I thought Pacquiao landed the right hook. Now, I think Pacquiao's landed three significant right hooks already in the fight, Emmanuel. It's definitely been his best punch early. Straight jab lands for Pacquiao. Which again shows that he's no longer a one-punch puncher. Well, nope. follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. And that's a knockdown for Manny Pacquiao. Perfect right hand inside. I don't know if 
rookies win us a match. You know, I'm surprised to see him get hurt for Shelly. But, you know, he's not the type of a guy that goes out as a guy. He's a fighter. Patton got a couple of extra seconds as Bayless tried to back Pacquiao off. Pacquiao was coming out of the neutral corner in a hurry. Lands another right hook. Pacquiao's hands are so Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fast. His hands are so fast that no opponent sees the punches coming. A very another enough. perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. A tsunami for Manny Pacquiao in round one. And he never saw it. And what's amazing to see him land a punch and then slip a punch all at the same time shows unbelievable coordination. The issue has always and been timing. whether Hatton could get to Pacquiao and avoid these kinds of clean punches. Copybox numbers in round one utterly devastating to Pacquiao's chances. Pacquiao is 35 out of 62. 31 out of 52 power shots. Patton only 8 out of 33. It was a Pacquiao storm in the first round. This, and we have to remember now, although it's a different type of fight, that Pacquiao knocked Marquez down three times in the first round. And then Marquez, a counterpuncher, began to solve him. Patton is not a counterpuncher. Hard left hand by Hatton. Ricky has decided to fight fire with fire. And it's what he's going to have to do in this case, Sherry, he just to try to smother this guy and get close. He's trying to punch at a certain distance. Pacquiao is actually just too sharp and accurate to punch him. You heard Floyd Mayweather saying to Hatton, you can't just jump all over him. You've got to move your head. You've got to think. You've got to do the things we talked about in training camp. Hatton seemed to believe that he could physically overpower Pacquiao from the beginning. Yeah, I mean, he, oh. he, he knew in the beginning he was going to take the risk of getting caught, and he did. Because, you know, stop, stop. coming in, Pacquiao still is the puncher. The physical strength is still with Hatton, but the, the, the punch is still Pacquiao. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. Misses the right hook there. And what Ricky needs to do is to smother him. He cannot see to deal with those punches. He needs to push him. Just what he's doing there. Good left hook inside by Hatton. And then he closed down Pacquiao's left side. Hard right hand again by Pacquiao. Ricky can't see the hook coming. Behind the head. All right, okay. Kenny Bayless warns Hatton for holding behind the head. In Hatton's most famous victory over Costa Zoo, he just smothered him and didn't allow him to get off. He can't seem to be able to get close enough to Pacquiao often enough to do that. And Costa Pacquiao's Zou. hands are so quick. That's the point. Costa Zoo had about a quarter of the speed of Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's, Pacquiao's blinding speed that sets him apart. As well as his head movement. His head movement is just a phenomenal. I don't think he's landing too much out of that exchange. But it just is his ability to punch, maintain balance, which he used to couldn't do. And his head, head movement is just too difficult for hand to time. I think Pacquiao may have spent the first two minutes of this round thinking knockout and allowed himself to get a little wild. Now he goes back to more precision. He yeah, lands but, a hard body shot. But Ricky isn't moving his head too much still. Uh, his head is still like that. What a straight left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the count? Is that it? Kenny Bayless says, no way. That is that. What an amazing. 
a knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. In a fighter. Landing 34 of his last 53 power shots, 64%. And you know, Jim, the interesting thing is, before this fight tonight, he had shown this kind of power against the best featherweights, Barrera, Morales. <clears throat> and Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That was it, super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, and he never saw Tandon coming in. Yeah. It's the first time he's knocked out somebody like this since he was at 130 pounds. And Hatton's head hit the canvas very hard. He was knocked out as soon as Double the Double jeopardy. He was unconscious from the moment he caught that shot. Goes to the canvas in the proverbial heap. And boom. Out of our camera range at that angle the head pounded against the canvas here's another look so Floyd Mayweather made his statement on a podium this morning saying I'm back and I'm still the best Manny Pacquiao makes his statement right here in the ring he knocking out Ricky Hatton and his trainer Freddie Roach had predicted it would not go past three rounds. Carol Hatton is sitting down. Ray Hatton is standing up in the white shirt looking away at the left corner of your screen. That's the Hatton family area in the crowd. They're hoping that their son is going to be all right. That's Hatton's fiance, Jennifer, in the red dress. And you can see the emotion on her face at this very moment. There's Ricky. And as we look at Ricky, we'll go up to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, the end comes at 2 minutes, 59 seconds, round number two. The winner by TKO victory. And now, the new IBO and Ring Magazine, late welterweight, champion of the world, and still... Pound for pound, the best in the world, Manny Pac-Man Two men have gotten the best of Ricky Hatton in his 47 fight career. Both of them knocked him out. Floyd Mayweather in 10 rounds, Manny Pacquiao in two.